Hi friends, today I'm going to discuss some aspects of data science and we are also going to get down into the fact as to why optimization is at the basis of data science. So let's start with what is this current obsession with data science. So I would say that what has happened over the last decade or so is that a large amount of data is now coming to different companies, different organizations, and they want to use this data to improve the life of their customer, to improve their profitability, and to improve the safety of the products. For example, let us take a couple of cases. If we have a typical flight vehicle or a vehicle in general, it could be a car. Now, you have a lot of sensors on the car and these sensors are sending data to some system all the time. And you could use this data to figure out what is the problem with the car? Does it have a problem? What can be done to fix the car? What are the possible implications on the life of this vehicle and so on? So these processes all become possible because of the presence of a huge amount of data which has been facilitated by the large number of sensors as well as the internet and the cloud. Now if we look at a different example from a more business perspective, let's think of a person who is charging credit cards and then this person has a certain model to his behavior. He shops at certain types of shops, malls, restaurants and so on. Now suddenly this person starts behaving in a weird way. He's shopping at completely different shops, restaurants and so on. And also he may be shopping at a different geographical location. So you want to flag this as a possible fraud type of scenario. And this would be a case of using data for fraud detection. So a third case could be if you have information about the types of movies a person watches and you could use this information to predict or to propose to this person to watch a certain type of movie. So this would be essentially a curated service which this person is getting. This whole field is known as curation. You are giving content which you think this person is going to get. So these are all possible utilizations or uses of data. Now at the end of the day, data has to be converted into matrix or vector form. If it is not numerical data, you have to figure out some way to make it numerical. And once you make the data numerical, this input output relation has to be created. So the output is some desirable quantity you have. Maybe you want to know whether there is a credit card for fraud or not, in which case it could be a zero one situation. It could be whether the person is going to see a movie, what is the likely probability of this person seeing a movie. So you get this kind of match, maybe a 90% match, maybe a 70% match and so on. Regarding a vehicle, do you really feel this vehicle needs to go for service or not? Again, you could assign some probability to it. So all these relationships between the input and output vectors and matrices need to be created. So essentially you have a pattern recognition problem or a function approximation problem. So this function between the input vectors and the output vectors is not known to you. So now how do you know this function? So you turn back to curve fitting and essentially we know that curve fits can fit any function between a set of input data and output data. Now historically polynomials have been used for curve fitting and what happened with neural networks is that people figured out that you could use some different functions for example sigmoidal functions for curve fitting and you could also create it nested functions. So that's the source of the network. And the network came about with this thinking that maybe the human brain uses a network, so why not use something like that? 
Then later people realized that you could use different functions also, for example, piecewise linear functions. You could add more layers to this network. So that became deep learning. Now, whatever be this network at the end of the day, some function needs to be minimized. And this function, just like in the case of polynomial car fits, is always the least square. So error between the output and input has to be minimized. So whenever your mapping is being done, this mapping is not going to be perfect. So there is going to be some residual here and the square of this residual should be minimized. So that's where we turn to optimization and essentially here, just like in least square method, you essentially find the coefficients of the curve fit by minimizing the square of the residual. So you take the gradient of this and set it to zero. Similarly here in machine learning, you use the stochastic descent method, which is a variation of the steepest descent method to minimize the square of the residual and set it to zero. So essentially you can see that function minimization is at the basis of machine learning or data science. It has always been at the basis of dealing with data since you started using the least square method. And now you are using a numerical method because you do not have exact solutions to the problem like you did in the case of least square. So this numerical method, typically back propagation is using some kind of stochastic descent formulation to solve this problem. Now stochastic descent is just a different form of the steepest descent method where you are using a step size which is very small. So if you go to my lecture on optimization on some of the gradient based method, you will see that you can find the step size which is perfect or best for that problem. Or you could choose a very small step size where you are sure that your function is decreasing at the next iteration. So that's what the stochastic descent method does. So you can see at the end of the day that data science and machine learning involves essentially two aspects. The square of the residual needs to be minimized. That's aspect one. And you need to form some kind of basis functions which form the bedrock of the relationship between the output variables and the input variables which are expressed as vectors or matrices. So optimization is at the core of data science. So that was my take about some aspects of data science. I hope you benefit from this video. Please subscribe to my channel and also like it and share it with people in your network. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.